Well, seeing we're stuck to put the uh, winch bumper on because it's too big, the winch won't fit, I thought we'd get on the rest of this kit and, uh, this kit and caboodle we've got here. Uh, I didn't realise that the seats were heated seats, so a good thing I haven't put all the tunnel in and things like this because it looks like I have to put some wiring in. Now this came from Exmoor Trim and it comes with a full wiring kit. This is it here with all the switches, switches, bit of wire, another bit of wire. Um, I think I'll have to drill some holes in the floor and pass them underneath to get them to fit. It is a nice kit, I must admit, you know, it's got a fuse in it and everything. It's ready to go, really. These look like they're made in China. It's got that Chinesey type feel to it. Anyway, never mind about that. It's got the relay in it, one for each side. You know. So how does it fit? Who knows? Um, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Obviously. Um, yeah. So obviously the the plug the switch. Which is this? Oh, it's an illuminated one, which is nice. You know, you can tell if it's on or off. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know why it's got heated seats because with the GM engine in, it's like an oven in there. Oh, he's got to be boiling his bums off with that. Uh, we've got a positive and a negative, so it's all self-contained. Uh, just downside is it didn't come with a, a clip here, so we could screw it to the back of the inner bulkhead. Now I've got a feeling I'm going to fit this kit. Uh, I, I've done them in the, the past by doing them to the cubby box, but if this wire is long enough, I'm saying if it's long enough, I don't know, I might just be tempted to put it in the centre dash. Yeah, I think I might just do that. Let's find out. If you can remember when I was first building this car up, I actually put a grommet through the bulkhead so you, so you could pass existing wires through. This goes to the rear for speakers and bits and bobs like that. So I can actually come through there. That's not a problem. So you see, like I say, I had to do the speedo drive and bits and pieces, so I ended up on the uh, the uh, reverse light switch. wasn't wasn't working. But um, it's where on earth do I put the switch on here? I think the only place I can put it is here and here because it, I can't put it up there because that's where the badge goes up there um, yeah so I mean it's taking that lot out but at least I can put the the wire in through here and then drill a hole coming through here for the wires for the seats hmm alrighty now we've got the cubby box to go in um, hmm. Bit of a bit of a conundrum when you're fitting things because I didn't actually anticipate doing this, but yeah, it means taking all that up to drill a hole. Oh, bugger! Before we can put the uh, wiring in for the seat heaters, we've got to establish where the cupboard box is going to go because we we want to drill some holes. So it's got two holes down here already. I don't know what they were for, but there's none on that side, I know that for sure. Let's have a quick look. Mm, there's none down there, so I think we'll take that one there as a guide and we'll use that one. At the same time, I'll mark out the holes for the cubby box and I can drill those holes. Now that's going to be interesting. How am I supposed to tighten it up? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll put some metric captive nuts in. That'll do it, won't it? Yeah, that'll do it. Not too bad a job. Like I said, then we can box all this lot up today and get this in. I'm glad I didn't box it up and then having to do it again. Because I want to strap the wires under the... Instead of putting it under the carpet, which looks awful, I want to put it under the car and come up the other side. That'll look good. Another job to do, and never mind. All adds up, doesn't it? So, I've... Uh Got the wiring in, I'll show you that in a minute, but I've got the uh, cover here 
for the centre box. I covered it with a bit of carpet and on the inside there's a bit of kill mat. Um, I put captive nuts in because they're asking for putting nuts and bolts in. And as you know, when you're on your own, <laughs> nuts and bolts under the centre cubby box is impossible. So captive nuts, that's the way to go. So there we go, there's a cubby box in, it's on its little standoffs. I don't know why they put standoffs on, it must be for sort of maybe a different model, but anyway, it looks all right. I haven't put the uh, dash in fully, but you can see on the side there, that's where I put the heated suite seat switch. And the reason for that was, it was a bit tight down there, and it was going to look odd here, so a uh, three-quarter inch hole, just put the thing, put the button through, clip it all up together, follow the instructions, kind of easy. Um, those red connectors there, uh, with the fuse in, and there's two of them, they hack into a white wire from the ignition. The problem is I'm a bit tight for where to put the relay, so I'm going to sort of put the box in somehow. I was hoping to put the relays in the top, but there didn't seem to be that much room. And there's no brackets with it. I'll put the ground through the side, through the mounting bolt. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit the seat on this side, because I'm just about finished here. I've just got a carpet to fasten down and tidy up. I'll put the seat in and dust it round. Then I can put the heated seat connector on. Now, that's the wire coming through there. It looks kind of neat. I'll have to put a little plug in there. And um, we'll see how it goes. I'm sorry it's a bit haphazard, but I'm in a bit of bloody rush as usual. It's Saturday, isn't it? So there we are. Those are the, probably the most top-of-the-line expensive seats I've ever seen. Full leather. Lumbar support. Heated. Um, yeah, they're, they're the works, aren't they? But sadly, I can't put that seat back any further because uh, of the fuel tank, because it's a pickup. It won't be so bad on the other side, but I'm leaving that old mucky seat in for a while till I do a test drive. Now, you can see here on the side, uh, I've put the um, heated seat on because I want to work out which way is which. Um, I'll get the uh, camera the thermal imaging camera out to work that one out but uh, I think I've got the wires crossed the wrong way around but it doesn't really matter I'll just undo the plugs inside and swap them over then I can box all this lot up and take it for a test drive somebody somebody interrupted me so uh, yeah that's it it's, it's uh, kind of nice isn't it so we'll get all this lot put back together We'll take it for a ride and uh, we'll see what happens. Pity about the winch though, innit?